Hello. As you can probably tell, I'm not in a classroom anymore. I'm instead wandering through the mostly sunny, but at the time of recording quite rainy, hills of Wales. Now, several videos ago, I made the sketchbook, uh, the explosion sketchbook tutorial video. And when I first showed my examples to my students, some of them looked at the inside pieces of paper that I'd used to decorate the explosion sketchbooks. And they said, oh, this looks cool. Have you used hydro dipping to do this? And at that time, I had no idea what hydro dipping was. When I came back home for my summer vacation, my stepdad said, I've got a really cool video to show you. Have a look at this. Maybe we can try it out. Now the video was of a company who specializes in taking 3D objects and in the video example they were using the alloys from the inside of car wheels and they were dipping them into different designs to produce these really really interesting car alloys. So after watching the video I thought this is something I want to try, this is something I want to make a video on because it looks really cool and it might inspire other people to try it as well. So I ordered a kind of hydro dip starter pack, in the UK it's much cheaper, and I looked at the different designs that they had available and I had to think, okay, what are, what are we going to do, what are we going to try? Now I've got a one year old son and I thought what would be cooler than having a matching pair of trainers for myself and for him in a Day of the Dead style, which is kind of something that interests me a lot, somewhere that I want to go to one day, something that I'd like to see. So I ordered that as a kit and today you're going to have a look and see how we got on and how it looks as an end result. Okay, so what you can see me doing now is actually dipping the shoes into the film with the Day of the Dead design on. So I have the tub that I'm using to put the water in, um, I have the film over the top with the design on, I spray it with what's known as like an activator, it's a spray that comes with the kit, which causes the film to kind of dissolve from what I can see onto the water, so it's almost semi-transparent, and then that allows me then to dip the shoe through it. Okay, so how do they look so far? Well, you just saw me dip my shoes before, and after a few days of walking around on them, this is how they look. So they have a really, really cool kind of tongue lip part in the front, and the sides are holding up quite well. The bottom of the shoes has almost entirely been walked off. Dip down the bottom of the shoes or hydro dip in the bottom, not the best idea because it will get walked off. My sons look really, really cool. The sides have come off really, really well and he's got interesting designs on the bottom as well, but which will come off eventually. My one frustration is that I couldn't find a pair of shoes that matched. I couldn't find a kind of like one and a half year old pair of shoes that had this bit on the front that I could dye. Um, so all I'm gonna do now to get them to look a bit more similar is I'm gonna get some a smaller lace, a smaller white lace, and I'm gonna kind of hot glue it into these parts here so that they look more similar. Now, after going through these and trying them and see how they go, I want to do it again and I thought I'd go a bit more ambitious for the last one and this is going to be the one that I dye now. I've got almost an entirely white pair of trainers that I want to try and do. Now one thing I learned from the first time that I did it and then when I practiced again with kind of the ones here is that you can use masking tape to kind of mask out parts that you don't want to be dyed and that's what I've done here. Okay, I can already feel it starting to rain, so I'm going to try and keep this bit quite brief and get this bit dipped. So the first thing you want to do when you've got your film is make sure you cut a piece which is larger than the surface area that you want to transfer the design onto. So obviously I want this to kind of go over the top of the lip and the sides as well. I keep calling this a lip, I'm not sure if it's a lip. Um, and I want it to cover all of that area. So I've made sure that the one that I have covers more than that space. Right, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to put the design in, making sure that there's no creases that come across into it. If I lower it down slowly, there we go, that's better. 
and before you spray the activator you can try and unfurl any of these bits that start to kind of curl over themselves. Okay, so if it gets too close to the corners you can start to move it back in the middle. When you're happy with where it is and it's been in for about 60 seconds, you can hit it with the activator spray. Now this stuff does not smell great, so if you're using it yourself, please make sure you're careful, do it in a ventilated area, do it outside, not inside. Right, got my shoe, now we're going to try and dip it into the design. So at a roughly 45 degree angle, I'm going to start pushing it in. I'm going quite slowly, I'm not rushing this process at all. Under, give it a bit of a shake, lift it back up, see how we've done. Something important to note if you go with the method of using any kind of masking tape to seal up parts of the shoe, you're going to have to give it a couple of days to dry. So depending on where you live and how warm it gets there, it's going to be a day or two, if not more, before you can start removing the pieces of masking tape and seeing what it looks like underneath. So try and resist the temptation of just pulling all the bits off immediately to see how it turned out, otherwise the design might get ruined. Okay, so moment of truth, how did these come out? Well, I'm already taking a sneak peek at one of them, but let's have a look at the other one. Let's change this. Okay, so we've got the tape, so let's start removing it. Okay, you can see the stripes held. on the side look really good, the bottom's got no bleeding across on any of it so the design hasn't gone underneath anywhere that's taped off. These are looking pretty cool. And the other one, just so you can see. So they, as a pair, are awesome. So a very, very good effort with that one. Okay, so you've seen me do it, you want to try this yourself, how do you do it? Well. What I would suggest doing is to buy one of the Hydro Dip starter kits from Amazon or eBay or your locational equivalent. And inside those kits, what you should get is an activator spray and the film itself. So this is the film that I was using. But if I pull out the small sample here, which has the design on it. So if you can, get one of the kits, try it for yourself, see how you get on and good luck. And I'll see you next time.